What's up guys? Uh, long time no see. Um, I have been a lazy son of a gun for the past like month, literally. Um, let me close these blinds here a little bit. Um, so the sad thing is I've made like a handful of log clips since I've last uploaded. Um, but I pretty much deleted them all because they've been pointless and I'll start talking about something that happened or something like that. And then next thing I look, I'm like, it's been like 20 minutes that I've been talking and it's wouldn't be even interesting to watch. I'm like, I wouldn't watch that. I'm not going to upload that. So, um, the last like three weeks, two weeks ish has consisted of work and laying my ass on the couch. Pretty much. Um, I bought a new toy. I picked up a Mavic 2 Pro finally. Um, if you guys remember my drone stuff, I had the Mavic Mini, which was tiny, awesome drone, but um, it didn't do like 4K. It wasn't very good in the wind. God, this, I haven't recorded. I like, dang, I need a haircut. I need to trim my beard up. But uh, the Mini wasn't, the Mini was a great starter drone, I guess we'll put it like that. Um, but I've wanted the Mavic 2 Pro. I actually wanted that before the Mini, but. I didn't want to spend that much money on a drone having never flown one or used one before. So I started out small, sold it, actually ordered this one. Uh, you, shout out to a firm. Love them. I do not have the money to afford this. So financing for sure. But um, so I bought that uh, the day it got here. I sold my mini to one of my good friends like the next day and Basically, like, the last two weeks has consisted of working all day because we're working till, like, 3, 4 o'clock lately, which sucks, you know, from 5 a.m. till then. And pretty much coming home and, like, just literally chilling on the couch watching TV. Um, I've been on a Survivor kick. I've been watching that. I saw it pop up on Netflix, I think, but there was only, like, two seasons. And I'm like, no, oh, there's way more than that. So CBS actually has an app. And there's, like, 40 seasons of it. So I'm on, like, season... I don't even know, like 11 or 12 now. I've um, been watching it at work, been watching it at home, but a couple nice days I've been out flying. Um, the footage this thing gets, oh my God, it's so awesome. But uh, aside from that, like I haven't even been in the garage. Like I haven't started the slingshot since I think you guys probably last saw it on my channel. So I go out on a limb and assume the battery's probably dead. Um, I've still got that town car over here that I was supposed to be working on and getting ready to sell. That, again, has been on the back burner. But just That's really been because of the weather. Like, I started working on that when the weather wasn't terrible, which was literally like a week or two ago. But since then, like, it's been raining or just stupid cold outside, and I'm not trying to work on that thing when it's cold like this. What else? That's really been it. Um, I bought a new TV on Black Friday. Uh, yeah, let me tell you guys about that story. So... If you see, there's two of them here. There's two of these boxes. Same thing. Um, so Thursday on Thanksgiving. No. Hi, Bailey. Say hi. Come here. Come here. <laughs> well, say hi to the camera. No, no. Come over here. Look over here. No, she's not going to do it. Um, all right. So anyways, Black Friday or even that Saturday. I don't remember. Um, I was kind of looking at because all literally we have a tv downstairs um we had one in the kitchen but literally like i don't even remember last time we turned that on it's just like a little like 24 inch one like up above the sink i actually took it down uh you know obviously when i was redoing the kitchen i haven't put it back up yet i don't know if i'm gonna but uh and then we have in our bedroom our bedroom layout is kind of weird like our house has quite a few windows um on this wall, we have two windows. On this wall, there's one window. Uh, this wall behind me in our bedroom is the wall that's shared, like, with the other bedroom that I'm working on, which is going to be, like, my game room, YouTube studio type deal. And then the wall right here has the bathroom door, like, one little five-foot wide section, and then the closet. And then our bedroom door opens in front of the closet. So there's not, like, a lot of room for dressers or anything like there's literally like one or two layouts we could do in the room so right now we have the bed like against this back wall so it's like this and then my mom gave us a really nice tall dresser because we never really had a dresser in there which kind of sucked for clothes 
but my mom gave us this tall nice like solid wood dresser that she bought like a few years back and didn't move didn't want it when she moved into her new house um and it fits in that area perfect but we also have a fan we'd sleep with our fan on like 24 7 we cannot sleep without the fan so we used to have just like a little shelf there and the fan was there and then i had our tv mounted like up on the wall it was this old really old like plasma shelby's parents had it they bought it like before we even started dating which was you know pre-2008 so i think it was like a 42 inch plasma so at the time like you know it was really you know high-end tv you know plasma 42 inch it was big you know that was a nice living room tv at the time which is funny to think about now like that's tiny but they had given us that when we lived together at our old house back in 2012-ish or something like that. Because they had gotten a new TV, so that was just like an extra one for them. So we were using our bedroom then, but we had it on like a entertainment center with like a TV stand or whatever. But when we moved here, I'm like, oh man, I want to hang a TV up on the wall. Like we never hung one up on the wall. I was like, I just, you know, that's awesome. I don't know why I was really excited to do that, but hung it up and... It was it really old technology. So that thing weighed probably, if I had to guess, like over 50 or 60 pounds. Which for a 42-inch TV, like 60, even maybe more. I don't know, to be honest with you. Like, it was heavy for me. It was literally, here's the thing. We have a 70-inch Vizio in our, uh, like a 4K Vizio LED or whatever in our living room. That TV is lighter than the 42-inch plasma. Like, just to put it in perspective. So I somehow managed to hang that on a wall, a wall where there was only one stud because our doors actually slide like into the wall for the bathroom in the closet. So there's only like one stud right in the middle and had all that weight on this one stud. And it's not even really a stud. It's just like a really thin piece of wood for like support for the drywall or whatever. Uh, Cause it's like hollow. So I had all that weight on that wall. Um, and that TV like, wasn't like, obviously it could be hung up, you know, it had the, the mounting points in it or whatever but it was before like the inputs were like up and down you know like a tv now you can mount it like really close to the wall and the cables plug in like this you know so they're not sticking out this tv they're all sticking like this so i had to like it was almost resting on some of the cables because of, like the way it was plugged in so it was horrible design horrible design but we never really watched it too much and literally for the past five or six years like it makes horrible noises like it buzzes and the picture is just kind of like funky looking um so for a while now for a couple years we've been like you know when we get some extra money let's just spend a couple hundred bucks get a nice new you know led tv for in there you know it'll be lighter we can probably get one a little bit bigger too and you know get a smart tv you know because we don't we ditch cable so we'll literally just stream either from our phones or we use the apps on the tv um and that plasma obviously was not a smart TV. So we had like just a Google Chromecast thing plugged into it or whatever. So anyways, I don't really, there was no point in me going on that rant for five minutes. But when my mom gave us that dresser, it was like, it's like three and a half foot taller than that shelf we had where the fan was. So the fan right now is like literally smack dab in the middle of where that TV is. So I'm like, well, oh, that kind of sucks. So what I was going to do is on the wall that's right here, you know, our bed is like this so on the far wall that's like the front of the house. Between those two windows, I was going to get like a wall mount where like the TV like mounts to it, but you can like pull it out and like turn it and stuff like that. Because I was like, you know, we'll keep the TV against the wall. And then if we want to lay in bed and watch a movie or something, we can just, you know, pull it out and like turn it towards the bed. You know, that would be cool. I bought the TV. So on Black Friday or Saturday or something, I was looking at Walmart. There weren't really any spectacular deals this year like there was a couple good deals but like nothing crazy um i found this samsung crystal uhd smart tv with tizen or whatever i guess that's like the operating system of it and uh it's a 43 inch um it's super slim it's smart tv you know so it's got all the apps um you control it from your phone you know the google homes and the alexas and all that stuff it was I don't remember what it was. It was on sale for like, it wasn't a crazy sale. Like I said, it was like maybe 30, 40 bucks cheaper than normal, but I really liked the features. I liked the size. Um, reviews were like all amazing. So I'm like, all right, we're going to order, you know, I'm going to splurge order us that one. Cause I did get like a small little bonus at work. Cause we signed our new contract. So I was like, 
I'm gonna pay some bills, but also, you know, buy us something nice for the house. So I ordered, well, I wanted to pick it up at our Walmart, but it said like it was an online only thing. So I'm like, damn, you know, it's gonna be one of those stupid things. Like they probably have it in the store, but it's, you know, a different price or something like that. I think it was like two day shipping anyways, and it was free shipping. So I'm like, hmm, whatever. So I ordered it online. It was like, you can take this home today with a firm for no money down or something like that. And I was like, I just clicked on it for fun, which is the same thing I used for the drone, a firm. Um, I got instantly approved. Um, and then one of the options had a 0% finance thing, which what that means is like, it costs you no extra money. Like if you buy something with a credit card and you only make your minimum payments, you're paying a lot of interest on that amount, you know? So if you buy something for 50 bucks and your credit card has like, you know, 30% interest, and you make like a $20 monthly payment or something like that, you're paying more than 50 bucks back in the long run. So zero interest means you're only paying back like what you spent or whatever. So I was like, if it's zero interest and I don't have to put like, you know, the 250 bucks down or whatever, you know? Mm -hmm. So I did that. Um, it was stupid low payment. It was like, I don't know, 30, 40 bucks or something like that for a couple months. I, I think it was like six months or something. So whatever the math is. But, uh... I was like, sweet. So I ordered it, you know, gave me the tracking info, you know, said it'd be here in two days. Well, the next day, yeah, this was Friday that I ordered it. So Saturday I had to run to Walmart for something anyways, something else. And I was like, let me go look at the TVs. I wonder if they have that model. You know, I'd like to see it in person. So lo and behold, there's that exact TV for the exact same price with like, I don't know, there was like 10 of them on the shelf. I'm like, seriously? So I go on Walmart, I go on the app or whatever, and I go to like, see if I could cancel the order. Cause I'm like, I'm just going to cancel the order and then just buy it right here. You know, like I'll just pay cash for it or whatever. So I cancel the order. I pick it out, you know, and then I take it back home and the mount I ordered. Cause I decided on whatever TV it was the day before. So I ordered a mount on Amazon the night before and it had same like next day shipping or delivery or whatever. So that was like out for delivery. Um, and what I ended up finding out. So we, like I said, we were going to mount it on the side of the wall or on the side wall and, you know, it was going to like pull out and be able to turn either way or whatever. Yeah, those mounts are like a hundred dollars or more. And I was like, I'm not, no way. Like the TV mount I got in the garage was like 20 bucks. The TV mount for the TV in the bedroom that we had was like 20 bucks. Um, every other one I looked at was like 15, 20, 30 bucks. And then that, spe you know, that specific full motion type or whatever was just like 20 times more and i'm like dude that's ridiculous no way like i'll figure out somewhere else to put it and then i'm kind of i was laying in bed that night and i'm like kind of laying there i'm like it would be awesome to have the tv mounted from the ceiling like at like where the end of our bed is like have it coming down from the ceiling right there and i'm like oh no that would that, i don't know that would be kind of weird and the more I thought about it, I was like, no, that would be sweet. Like, me laying in bed, TV's right at the foot of the bed, but, you know, up from the ceiling, so it's not in the way of anything. It's not blocking, you know, you don't have to walk around it. It's not hanging on the wall, taking up space. It's literally up there. So I'm like, oh, that would be kind of cool. So I get on Amazon, I look at ceiling mounts for TVs. I find one dirt cheap, had perfect reviews. Everybody loved it. I ordered that. It was literally, I think, like 13 bucks. And I'm like... You know, kind of, I like a sound bar up here. So, uh, went to Walmart, bought a cheap, like just a single sound bar, like not one with like the surround sound or subwoofer or anything like that. Um, it was that on brand, that O N N or whatever. It was like the all blue box. Um, reviews online were pretty good. Said, you know, I got this in my living room, you know, my apartment really fills up the room with sound. Um, I get home. I take it out of the box. There's no HDMI. It's literally just the little headphone jack or Bluetooth. I'm like, so I'm going to have to have two separate remotes because that TV. So yeah, that TV, it didn't have like a headphone output, which understandably, because most TVs don't, it has like the digital audio, it has Bluetooth even. So I'm like, all right, let me pair it through the Bluetooth. So I do that. But because it was a different brand, like Every time I turned the TV on, I had to manually connect it. So I'm like, yeah, I'm not doing that. And it wouldn't control the volume. So I'm like, Samsung TV, like we got a Vizio down here. So I got a Vizio soundbar. They just connect seamlessly. 
um i was like obviously samsung tv i'm gonna have to spend just a little bit more money because that one was like 70 bucks so i'm like i'm gonna spend a little bit more money on the samsung bar and i think it was like 20 30 bucks more but it's a sound bar and the wireless subwoofer so i'm like that's cool you know if we ever listen to music up there you know shelby's getting ready she wants to turn her phone on you know you can connect through bluetooth and all that i have good sound upstairs too you know why why just have it downstairs you know might as well have it upstairs too but anyways, so I bought the soundbar, but I wanted the brackets to be able to mount it under the TV from the TV stand thing. You know, I didn't want the soundbar like over on the dresser, you know, but TV's right here, but the soundbar is like 10 foot farther back or whatever, you know? So I ordered those on Amazon for like, I think they were like 13 bucks for it. It's just two metal brackets. And what I ended up doing was, so this is the back of the TV. I hate this HDMI cable, but it was the only one I had when I mounted it. But I need some zip ties too, to clean the wiring up. But what I ended up using was the two old brackets that mounted to the old TV. And this is the bracket that this mounts with. So I put them in here and then they connect to the sound bar right here. Everything's, you know, boom. So it's sweet. It rotates. I don't really want to show our bedroom. Otherwise, I'd zoom out, but um need some zip ties to clean this stuff up but so i canceled the amazon order that showed up the next day so i started a refund or whatever and it was like it just sends me a message it's like hey we've refunded your money for the the soundbar mount but you don't have to return it so i'm like okay that's kind of cool so i got to keep that i'm not gonna use it but maybe i'll use it you know in the future or something like that i don't know but uh so like I showed you earlier, there's two TVs there, right? So Walmart's like, thanks, you've successfully canceled your order, blah, 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 blah. So the next day, um, I think it was Sunday, I hear a knock at the door and then I hear like a big truck start up or whatever. So I'm like, huh, I, don't, I wasn't expecting any packages. I go out there, it's the TV I ordered. So now I have two of them. The one, is, the one that I ordered is financed through, you know, a firm or whatever, so... I haven't actually technically paid anything for it yet. I just haven't returned it. I've been lazy. Anyways, yeah, so I got to run to Walmart, return that. Um, oh, yeah, so one of Shelby's Christmas presents, um, something she really wants. Ordered it from Amazon. I found one that said, you know, delivery. The delivery was like a week, so it wasn't prime. But it said arrives by like December 9th or something like that. So I ordered it on like December 1st. The second, I get a tracking number from FedEx. And then when you click it, it's FedEx just like, you know, shipping information sent to FedEx. Um, we will update when they get the package. So basically all they did was make a shipping label. They haven't actually like dropped that off at FedEx yet. So fast forward from December 2nd to December 9th, nothing has changed. They haven't got the package yet. Nothing has been shipped. And Amazon's like, your package is, 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 is expected today. So I'm like, not going to get it today. So December 10th, I go back on there. It's like, sorry, your package is late. Now it's expected between December 10th and 15th. Usually late packages arrive the next day. But if the package isn't here by December 15th, you can come back the next day and ask for a refund or a replacement. So I'm like, cool. So the deadline is now way later than, you know, the 15th is or the 16th is going to be later than they would be able to ship it again to be here on time. So I went on Walmart and found a very similar thing, ordered that yesterday. So I've ordered her two basically of the same presents now, and I'm just banking on one of them to freaking show up before Christmas because it's one thing that I really wanted to get her. I mean, I think she'd be perfectly fine if I didn't, you know, getting her the other stuff, but one present I really wanted to get her, I've had to order from two different places now, and I'm literally waiting like... Whatever one gets here first won't get returned, you know, and I kind of hope it's the Walmart one that gets here second because it's probably going to be easier to return that, but whatever. It is what it is. Um, yeah, so anyways, though, um, today is fairly night. The uh, Today I woke up um, and it was downpouring like it's mid-December. It's like December 13th or 12th or something like that. So we're supposed to have like snow and cold weather, but it was like... 45 degrees and just downpouring all morning just rained and rained and rained and rained and rained um come back from lunch at like 12 o'clock at work 
rain stops and it is sunny and like li literally warm outside. It was like 60 something degrees. So I'm like, what the hell is this weather? So the slingshot, actually, it's still fairly warm outside, but it's super windy. So I can't fly the drone. I'd love to go out there and fly it, but it's literally like 30, 40 mile an hour winds. It's crazy. Um, and so I was thinking the slingshot, I haven't actually washed it yet. So like, it's not really put up for winter, in my opinion. Um, I don't really do anything out of the ordinary. Like I don't, you know, people are like, oh, you got to put it on jack stands, put fuel stabilizer in it, blah, blah, blah. Like, dude, it's going to be sitting for like two months. Like it's not 1950s with this horrible leaded gas. Like gas can sit for two months. It's going to be all right. So I usually just fill the tank up, park it, you know, as long as it's clean too. So uh, it's actually not clean. It's pretty filthy from last time I drove it. So I want to go wash it. And I think today's probably going to be one of the last days for a while that it's not blistering cold. So I'm going to go try to fire that up, get it down to the car wash, wash it, um, probably drive it around for like 30, 40 minutes so it just completely dries and then fill it up with gas and get it back home. I'm going to get out there, see if that thing starts. All right, guys, I do not have high hopes. Nope, no way. Oh,
Sorry this video wasn't like super cool. I really didn't do much because I watched a slingshot. But uh, yeah, that was a blast. <laughs> um, it's funny, it's like, not that I ever forget like how much I like that thing, but like when it's sitting in the garage, you know, obviously I'm not thinking about it a whole lot, you know, and then I don't know, I just took that thing for a ride. I washed it, went and grabbed some food and then just drove like the longest possible way around town to get back home. And, uh, well, actually, I did that, too, because the battery was, like, dead. Even getting to the car wash, like, when I washed it and then started back up, it still kind of really hesitated to start. And then when I got food, uh, I got Subway, you know, so you got to, like, they don't have drive. I, I've actually seen one Subway with the drive through which is the weirdest thing to me. It's down by my work. But uh, this one, it's, like, you got to go in. So I shut it off again, but I had driven it for, like, probably 10 minutes. So should have been a little bit better, which it was, but it still wasn't like what i would consider you know full which i know it's not going to be unless i drive for probably nearly an hour but uh um i just wasn't comfortable leaving it sitting again for a period of time i do have a battery charger for it but i have to dig it out because the garage is still torn up from when i painted the cabinets but uh just driving it even like in this crazy horribly windy weather in the dark like half the roads are still wet because like i said it rained all day earlier um that thing was a blast, man. Just crank the tunes, you know, just drive. I really like that thing. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and eat. It is, like, coming up on 7 o'clock now. Uh, I'm going to watch some Survivor, of course. And uh, I will see you guys in the next vlog. And I promise, regular upload. I know it seems like I, I feel like I'm always saying that, but, like, I've actually still been uploading the kitchen stuff. Just, you know, I haven't been uploading as much. And I haven't been doing, like, vlog stuff, which is what this channel really is for. But kitchen's coming along great um when we get to the end of the videos i'll talk about it but kind of at a snag right now and it's not like a oh god here's brian doing another project that he didn't finish no it's a few minor little things that still we need to figure out uh, but we'll talk about those when the videos kitchen videos are done and caught up and i'll show you what it currently looks like which you actually probably see in shelby's videos but uh yeah all right guys thanks for watching and uh, i'll see you later